a little more elastic. Uh -huh. You know. You're an actress. You've done some films. You've done yeah. theater. Mm -hmm. And there is an actor by Franco Massimo. Tell me about yourself. You are an Italiano. You have a yeah. film right now. It's a wonderful film called Sunset Down. Tell me about the sunset. Sunset at Dawn is... Um, uh, what, uh, Italian? Is it Italian? Napoletan? Or? It's, a, it's an Italian project. I would say more toward the Sicily kind Sicily. of Sicily, okay. Yeah. Mafiosa. Yeah, Mafiosa. Okay. It's a you grew up in Italy, Dawn. did you? Yes, I grew up in South Italy. South Italy? Yes. At, um, Sicily or Palermo or where? No, no, it's Taranto. Okay. Yeah, yes, in South Italy. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I'm a Siciliano. Oh, yeah? Yeah, see, you're probably not in Sicilia. My, my papa mia. is Siciliano, your mama is Jewess, you know. Ma Madonna. <laughs> Uh, Madonna, yeah. Madonna mia. Tell me about this movie. It's a it's a, a 37 minute film mm -hmm. starring you, and the director is Alan. Uh, Alan Herrera. Is Daliano too, or is he Mexican? No, he's uh, Spanish. Spanish, okay. But I tell you, working with him is like working with Martin Scorsese. Really? He's a very very talented uh, director. Did you write this film? Uh, I co-wrote with him. You co-wrote. But he wrote the script. Now, I remember years ago seeing you here in town, because you used to live on my street where I live, and I knew you were a wonderful Italian actor. You did a lot of films, a lot of theater. Most foreigners' projects. For foreign projects. Yes. So From you go Middle back... East, to, uh, Middle East, France, or Germany. How many languages do you speak, Franco? Uh, I speak... A, basically, I speak English. Basically, but most of the uh, Italian, of course, uh, yeah, but of course. most of my projects are done in English and then dubbed in other languages. But I meant in languages you only speak uh, Italian and English, not French. No, I see, because French Italian is very much alike, or Spanish, right? Yes, I, I believe that Spanish is closer. Uh, who did you study with acting? I studied with um, Elsa Polverosi, an Italian teacher. Okay. And Dan Mason, mm -hmm. Dexter Freeman, and Eli Real. What have you learned from this American teacher, the one uh, Dexter? Or is it basically uh, Dexter Freeman had a studio in in uh, Los Angeles? Yes, in Hollywood. I know. I'm very familiar with him. You know, you know. Yes, I do. So tell me, a what wonderful have you man, wonderful person, and he had Eli Real and Dan Mason with him in his acting school. And basically, we learned the uh, technique of... Uh, Strasbourg Institute? Is, uh, it, uh, is it method? A little method, but most is kind of improv. Improv is very powerful. Okay. Like used to do, yeah. Uh -huh. You know, you're, you're an actress, but do you, do you do methody or just... Who do you study with? I study with Lyle Knauss. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he has his own techniques. Like what? Well, it's it's really in the moment or what? Yeah, it's about just really taking on, you know, the life of the character and embodying the circumstances and and it's it's really his own, you know, he has his own jargon and his listening own to a, when you do a scene, listening to an actor like uh, Franco or Franco listening to you, that is all reaction. It's not yeah. That is being natural. Yes, like we're doing talk right now. Yes, natural, this, yes. this is within. I mean, right now, it's all within, right now. It's the most powerful, the moment. The most powerful yeah. thing is the improv. The improv is the most powerful thing. You enjoy doing the improv. Because it's, it's so powerful and comes from inside. I it doesn't see. come from the papers that you're reading. I see. You now, see? the film you just finished, I love my audience to see Sunset Down. I want them to see a clip of this of this in-depth in thing you're doing with this girl. Thank you. Let's show it.
I'm glad everything is working out. in-depth thing you're doing with this girl. Thank you. Let's show it. We just wait for the time. Where you I want him dead. Franco, that was very good. You're very much like, uh, well, you're an Italian actor, Macho Daliano. But you do romantic scenes, too. Yes, I yes. do romantic scenes. Not only yeah. gangstery type. No, no. They, everyone thinks you got to, to be Italian, they got to kill people and stuff like that, right? No, yes, they think that way. But, but you enjoy doing everything. Yes, I do. I do enjoy it. You have a film coming out now. This is it. But what's the other film you have got coming out? You have another one. It's La Mano Nera. It's, Tell me about that. It's uh, it's a little bit uh, a little bit different uh, in uh, Italian movie. Italian project. Uh, was this girl Italian? This girl? No. Is she American? She's American. Yes. Uh -huh. That's a wonderful girl. Very She's pretty. Very girl. nice. It's the work. Living in America when you first arrived from Italy, was it difficult for you? Yes, because I didn't speak English. Tell me about that. I want to know. How did you handle that? If you arrived? If, if, if I'm allowed to mention a name, if, if I could say that the Nightingale Conant Corporation, basically my English Go ahead. from self-improvement tapes. Self-improvement tapes? Yes. Self-improvement so tapes. So you learned by self-improvement tapes. Yes. But don't you think you, sh you could also learn just by people yes. talking and learning? And that's what, that's what the Spanish people don't do. They I, speak I also, I Spanish all the time. And if they would go and learn and speak with the rather... Ed, you understand? I got on the bus the other day. I said, lady, please, stop speaking Spanish. You'll learn. Talk to me, honey. I'm trying to tell her. That is the way to speak English. Am I right? You're so right. That's what I did when I was in Japan. That's Is that how what I, you did? Yeah, that's how I learned the language. That's how I got back. Because by. you did. See, I go to France. When I first went to France, I spoke, I, I wanted to speak French. Yeah. And I love it. Oh, comment ça va? Très bien. It's a little flair, style. <laughs> it's wonderful. D'accord. Am I right? It's fun. It's yeah. fun. But I also I studied the American English diction. Uh-huh. I, mm -hmm. I met some wonderful people like Hel Bargeld. Uh, da David Allen Stern, uh -huh. uh, very, very good teachers of the English language, the dialect, and the, um, speaking English without an accent. I don't want to lose my accent. Because no, you shouldn't. All. You don't. No, you but, shouldn't. Uh, just, uh, I remember once you met Shelley Winters in the uh, Silver Spoon with me, I mm -hmm. saw, yes. and I introduced you to her, and Shelley was married to Italian men, two of them, matter of fact. She loves the hot Italian men. We just lost her. God bless her heart. Yeah, and I so. must say, she thought you were a hot guy. You, I think you had your T-shirt on, something like this. <laughs> That's when she... Re Italian men always wear these kind of shirts. Why? I, I wear those when I, I go to the river to... As I mentioned to you, my hobby about feeding birds and... Oh, that's right. Tell me about... You know what he does? I, he what goes he and feeds birds. He buys all kinds of bird seeds and he goes to the river, is it? Yes, I go to the river, the streets, I rescue the sick ones. You do? You yes. rescue them? Yes. Isn't that... Now, what do you think about that as, a, as a yoga teacher? Go ahead. I think that's amazing. And any chance to 
connect with nature and the beauty of nature and to give back. I mean, that's giving back, you know, yes, you're feeding yes. the birds. Yeah, isn't that wonderful? Yeah. There's a lady who used to do that all the time, and they say it brings you a lot of luck. Well, I'm not you sure know? about luck. Yeah, but, but I'm asking you, they say that. Have you had Until luck? now, a lot of money spent on bird feed. You spend a lot of money on bird seeds? Yes, yeah. but I, I found a pigeon in 1987. Go ahead. And he took my life. I took him from the street to my place, uh -huh. and uh, he used to come in my bedroom, lie on my head, as if I was alive. A pigeon? <laughs> yes. Really? Because I had a, I had a, a t-shirt on my eye because it was too much light in the room. Uh -huh. And the bird, after three weeks, he was in a little cage, but then he would get out, they would come in my bedroom and lie on my face and see if I was alive, touch my eyes with his uh -huh. beak. And he took, he took my heart, this was in 1987. Mm -hmm. And since then, I get in trouble for them. Uh -huh. In 1999, I, I saw somebody trapping them on uh -huh. Hollywood uh -huh. and Bronson. Mm -hmm. I reached in the vehicle and I freed the birds. And the person hit me on my head uh -huh. and I had two stitches. I had to go to the hospital. Oh that's how what, to that's protect what, the birds. That's how what, wonderful. Uh, See, troubles, this, as macho as he is, he's got a and, very soft heart. Yeah, I always find that men who are so macho like that. Right. are very tender people and I just interview another Frankel He's a, I believe a we all are Snippy pardon me I believe we all are no you mm, believe that I really do really? I really do yeah but I think that we just take on so so many layers you know to protect ourselves that people are scared to what show what do you tell people as, as a yoga teacher and also you're not just a yoga teacher you also are nutritionists. That's right. You are a total she's a nutritionist. Yeah. Telling people what is good for to eat in their bodies. Yeah. I, I mean I really try to help people adopt a healthier lifestyle. So you went to a nutrition school, did you or that? You know, I did not. I you did just, not. No, but I, I don't have a degree. Yeah, but still you mm -hmm. you know what's good. Skippy, I've been studying it for fifteen years. That's very powerful when you what no. do you, you see what we brought in is what uh -huh. Yeah, it's really amazing. The food that people eat and they expect it to fuel their body. It's really amazing and it's sad and, and you know, I've seen it over and over with the clients that uh -huh. I've worked with. I've just, I've completely transformed not only their body, yes. but their whole, their whole physical well-being, their energy, their, like, athletic performance, everything. Actors need it. Basically, yes. actors really need it. And you have a lot of actors, too. Yes. Actresses, right? Yeah. Because and yoga, especially for actors. I mean, of course, the nutrition for uh -huh. everyone, you know. Mm -hmm. But yoga is really great for actors. What is good for, uh, a, like, a nutritionist in the morning? Like, would you find... Uh, eggs, to me, is not. Yeah. Fried, anything fried. Yeah. I don't have fried. No. Know. Well, you don't fry the egg. You poach them. You don't them. fry it. Yeah, Shredded you weed. It Shredded weed is good for Shredded you in the morning. Shredded very good. I love it. Yeah. Go One ahead. of I have like a couple favorite breakfasts. Um, a scramble. If you do an egg white scramble with like a just a spray, uh -huh. or I don't actually even use spray. I just use water and it doesn't uh -huh. stick. There's a little and restaurant right on the corner for me. It's called Basics, and I go there for breakfast mm, in the morning. Yeah, I know Basics. Yeah, and you get. Two eggs, ladies and gentlemen, two or three scrambled eggs for a lousy four dollars with toast. And I love it. Four dollars. Four dollars. Forget it. But you have to be careful. Do you know? Are they are they scrambling your eggs and? Three tablespoons of butter. That I don't know. See, I mm -hmm. should find out, right? You should. Well, what should be What should they be scrambling? If you ask them to use, you could ask them to use a spray. A spray. Yeah. Really? Instead of a, Is that better? Oh my gosh, it's so much better. A spray. Unbelievable. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I mean, you know, it's saturated what could you use fat. Spray? I don't know. What's, it's, it's, it's just it's a like it's, they're usually a non-fat, no stick. Spray. spray. Okay. Yeah, and so sometimes that's, it can be an olive oil spray. Yeah, but I have, I like also eggs, uh, basic, you know, like poached, mm -hmm. poached eggs are good for you. You know what else is really good is oatmeal. Oatmeal is another one. And if you one. cut up little pieces of apple. I do that. And put it in, so uh -huh. the, the apple Soak sort it. of cooks. Yeah. And then you put a little bit of uh, peanut butter in it, so the peanut butter gets warm. Now I have peanut and the butter every day. And the oatmeal. You have peanut butter. It's so good, isn't it? Peanut butter. So good. Listen, let's not talk. You brought another clip. <laughs> Come on.